Good morning, Servant House family and friends. I'm Cal, and uh, again, I'm here with my lovely bride of almost 50 years, <laughs> Dee, and we are still excited. <laughs> and we still are blessed to be able to spend this time with you and to encourage your heart, to encourage uh, your, uh, your hearts, open your eyes, and hopefully that you'll, you'll benefit from the time you're spending with us. Let us pray. Father God, we're so grateful once again for giving us this day, a day that was not promised to us, a day that gives us another chance, Father, to be the people here in this place that you have planned for us to be. Father, we pray that something will be said or done, that eyes will be opened, hearts will be encouraged in a way that will carry them not only through the day and the night, Father, but into the next day. We ask that you bless the things that we said uh, and also to lift up your word, Father, and let us decrease as you increase. And we ask this in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Uh, our, our topic for today is uh, a pleasant diversion. And the uh, background scriptures come from Romans chapter 11, uh, verse 33, and the, through, through chapter 12, verse 2. And the key uh, scripture is Romans chapter 12, verse 2. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you will be able to test and approve, you, you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good and pleasant, pleasing and perfect will. So the background scripture uh, is about, you know, Anna is uh, talking with her friend and her friend is looking for a church. Mm -hmm. But the church she wants to go to, she just wants to go spend an hour there. She doesn't want, she doesn't want to have to change her lifestyle. You know, she kind of likes having a good time. So she just wants to go in you know, a feel good moment and doesn't want to have any responsibility or change her lifestyle. She just wants to go and, and have a feel good moment. So, and so, you know, and we're living in a time that, you know, this, this is something that it, it happens. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm thinking, well, that might be a problem. <laughs> just to go to church, because that's, that's not what going to worship is all about. So now, if you have a friend like that, so you might think, well, you know, that's, you know, you might give up. But the way I see it is trying to always look at the glass half full is at least this is a person who wants to come to church. So, you know, I kind of have, you know, as a children, working at children's ministry, I like to say, oh, come see, because our responsibility is to bring people to Jesus. And so, you know, it's, it's not like, well, that's not what church is for. What we have to be is to, to continue to nurture and pray that eyes will be open, hearts will be open uh, to receive the gospel and see worship is more than, you know, just a, a, a feel good moment. And so we continue to pray and, and uh, not give up on someone who just says, well, I just want to go and, and get out of there. I, I, the music is good and, and you know, I heard the music and I don't want to say anything to anybody. I don't want to say hi. You know, it's like I've, I've done my duty and I'm out of there. And that happens. That's, it does. That's, that's, does. that's not uh, a unique story. No, there's always someone <clears throat> who's looking for a church home. I mean, this is a very common um, activity for a lot of people, either because you move into a new area or because you just uh, decide you want to, you want to change church, uh, church locations. And for us, uh, those of us who uh, are relatively stable in our church um, communities, it's incumbent upon us that when these people come to our family, that they, um, they are greeted with a, an open heart, open open um, inviting environment and that um, we, we are good emissaries for the word, that we are good um, examples of the word. And also uh, that uh, when, they, when they do come, that we look forward for an opportunity to build a relationship with them. And so 
uh, we pray for these types of opportunities, and we, 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 we know the benefits of our relationships with Jesus, but it's incumbent upon us to be, be the church and to be the type of people that are pleasant to be around. When I, um, when I hear the words worship service, and this is uh, for someone who may be looking for another church, there's a difference between worship and service. What goes on on Sunday mornings is the worship and praise, praise and worship portion of it. There's singing, there's some study if you go to Bible study, and then there's the word. And of course, after the word comes the fellowship. Now, if that's all a person is looking for, then they would perhaps feel that they got their full of all of that on, on Sunday. But the service is what begins after the benediction. The service involves prison ministries, nursing home ministries, Wednesday night prayer, Saturday evangelism time, life groups, Christian education opportunities, and also even equipping conferences where the ministries can go and, and, and find out the new and latest tools to administer the ministry that they've been assigned. So there's a, there's a variety of reasons people come to a church. But some of these that are listed under the service part are as important, if not more, than the worship part. And uh, so I just want to share that. Is that something that uh, encourages your heart? Yes, it does. <laughs> okay. But, you know, and, you know, I have to say I... I enjoy the worship and the praise and worship, especially because many times I'm usually over with the children. So when I get a chance to be over in the worship service and, you know, hear, you know, uh, so I, I, I do enjoy, I, I have to admit I do enjoy that, but I also know that it's just not a feel good moment. And so, you know, when you were saying being a, a good example is that, you know, that's a growing process. We didn't start that way. So we can't always expect other people to say, oh, you know, okay, you come in and you do this. You know, just like someone was patient with us and guided us to, you know, that when you come for worship, it's also that you want to encounter God, that you want to be changed and be different to God's glory, you know, after you have worship, because that prepares you to go out to serve. serve. And so, uh, so we have to, you know, be mindful that someone was patient with us to, uh, to get us to that point and, and to uh, encourage us in the word. And so, you know, so we have to remember to continue that, that process and that relationship. And so, and we can be encouraged because um, uh, in our scripture, 2 Corinthians 3.18, that, you know, it's like looking in the mirror and that we want to see our character that, uh, that as a result of that worship and encountering God, that we want to be transformed to the image of God. And so in uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18, we all with unveiled faces are looking in a mirror at the glory of the Lord and are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory. This is from the Lord who is the Spirit. So... So, you know, that, that transformation is, you know, as we, as we grow, that we want to be who's our standard. Mm -hmm. Jesus is our standard. So when people want, well, what about this? Keep your eye on Jesus. That's our, that's our, that's our standard for all things. Uh, shall we pray? Mm -hmm. Father God, we thank you for this time and just to remind us that uh, we know that uh, our encounter with you is, is not a feel-good moment. It is a time when our hearts are open and uh, open and to receive the, your word that it falls on good soil, that we are transformed to be more like Jesus. And that uh, we, from that, that we learn to pray for those that uh, need to see you more clearly. And as we imitate you as your children, that people can see who you are and have the desire to have that same relationship. Mm -hmm. And so we thank you, God, that our worship, even for those now that are attending on a regular basis, that 
we uh, encounter God so that we are, we are transformed to be more like Jesus and that you will be glorified. And we thank and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless and have a good day.